Fires burn through the night following an attack on Saudi Aramco oil refineries and storage facilities. It's the second attack in as many days on a major complex on the outskirts of Jeddah. By daybreak on Saturday, with plumes of smoke still billowing above the city, the Saudi-led coalition had launched retaliatory strikes across the border into Yemen. The coalition says the Iran-backed rebels struck Jeddah and another facility in Jizan to try and impact the nerve center of the world economy. Aramco facilities in Jeddah, as well as vital facilities in the Saudi enemy's capital, Riyadh, were targeted with a barrage of winged missiles. Ras Tanura and Rabigh oil refineries were targeted by a huge number of drones. The facility is 20 kilometers from Jeddah's race circuit, where drivers were practicing for Saudi Arabia's second Formula One Grand Prix. I uh, smell a bit of a burning feeling. But uh, I'm not sure if it's my car or another car. Organizers say the race will go ahead on Sunday. Saudi officials maintain the attacks have no impact on daily life in Jeddah. The Houthis have rejected a Gulf Cooperation Council proposal for talks in Riyadh, but say they could happen in a neutral country. Uh, materially speaking, it doesn't uh, cause enough damage to qualify as a strategic uh, hit. When, whenever they hit uh, targets uh, that either in Saudi Arabia or the UAE, it's a hit against tourism in these countries that you can't run uh, car races and international games as if nothing is happening while we are under siege and while we are being struck on a daily basis from the air. Uh, so it certainly uh, alarms people who are visiting uh, this area because they never know when these rockets are going to hit. Across the border, Houthi media outlets say eight people were killed in one strike in Yemen's capital, Sana'a. The war is now in its eighth year. The UN says it has killed more children under the age of five than combatants on the battlefield. The UN believes 377,000 Yemenis have died as a result of direct causes like airstrikes and indirect causes like hunger and preventable disease what aid agencies describe as true hell on earth. And on Saturday, tens of thousands of people poured into the streets in Sada and other Houthi-controlled areas to mark what they called National Resilience Day and protest against the conflict. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.